Hey, what's going on guys? Dana from ModBot here and let's see if I can get this video to come through and record successfully. This is like my third time attempting to record it. Either the audio's off or the video's off. But anyways, this is not the original video I'd planned on recording this week. I was gonna do a video on the AlphaWise U20 or the Instone Inventor Pro, which I really need to make videos on. But this has been kind of a reminiscent week for me. And I thought this would be kind of a cool video to just share some of my thoughts and things that uh, kind of have been going on with the community and uh, really exciting stuff actually. This week at work, I happened to find a Hobby King. I happened to find a Hobby King Fabricator Mini, which is a really small all-in-one 3D printer that was really popular a couple years ago. Um, I would say that I don't know how well it's aged, but uh, one of my good friends on YouTube, Chuck from Filament Friday, was a huge advocate of this printer for its low cost and pretty decent build quality uh, or print quality for the time and. I met Chuck probably four years ago or three and a half years ago. We both had the Da Vinci from XYZ Printing's uh, printers, the big all-in-one. Um, that printer is what got me into 3D printing as a hobby and now in the uh, in the profession or in the career I work with 3D printers now. Uh, but it just got me really kind of reminiscent on the last four and a half years and just how far 3D printing has come as far as like features go and what you can get for your dollar and the community and the information that is readily available now for those that are looking to get into this really awesome hobby. Um, I mean, things like auto bed leveling, all the different filament types that are now available. It was like PLA and ABS exclusively when I got into it. Um, we've got touch screens going on now. We've got all sorts of crazy cooling. We've got filament runouts sensors, we've got dual extrusion, we've got power resume. It is insane how far we've come in such a short time. And I wasn't planning on making this video just based off that, but something else happened a few days ago and then I was like, you know what, this is definitely a recap of where 3D printing to me has come and how exciting it is. And that is that Marlin firmware released a Twitter post this week uh, with their latest build or latest release of Marlin. And I never, ever, ever look at the latest builds or build logs. I usually find out about the added features way later on. Um, although I've got like one, two, three, four printers and you're running Marlin, they're usually running a pretty outdated version of Marlin. But for some reason, I was sitting on Twitter and decided to click on it and take a look at the uh, build log and the changes. And that is kind of what inspired me to make this video. And this is Marlin version 1.1.9. And in that change log or in that build log, the team states that this will be the last Marlin 8-bit release. Um, and that is because Focus is gonna be now in development turned towards Marlin 2.0, which is a 32-bit uh, version of Marlin, which will be running on 32-bit boards. And the reason for that is because uh, with things like micro-stepping and all the different features and touchscreens, things like that, the the 8-bit um, uh, boards are just kind of slowly becoming a bit dated. Now, m nearly, I think all of my machines in here, with the exception of one or two, is running 8-bit boards, and I don't think they're gonna be dated in a year or two years or even four years. They'll, they'll be running fine until I decide that I'm not gonna print with them anymore. They're more than capable of handing what I throw at them. They're fantastic. But this is really exciting to see that we now are moving into the realm of 32-bit. It was just a huge kind of like eye-opening to me that I, I really wanted to make this video to kind of thank some people. And I would really like to first and foremost thank the whole Marlin team, all of the devs that have been working away at, at testing and implementing and adding new features, all of the beta testers that reported back bugs, anybody that made suggestions for features that they were able to implement into the uh, Marlin firmware. I don't think that the team gets enough credit because it is without this Marlin firmware, yeah, there's other firmwares available, but this firmware is what many of us are using and it is awesome and it is very easy to edit and it is constantly being updated. So seriously, I think you guys deserve a huge pat on the back and a thank you from me and from us as a community for all of the hard work that you guys have done and continue to do over the years. One other thing that I saw in this build log or in this change log was that there is now power resume from SD functionality and it says thanks to the work from Creality. So just about everyone knows who Creality is. Creality is the team, the Chinese company behind the, the popular CR10s, the Ender 2, the Ender 3. Um, they are just an extremely popular Chinese 3D printing company that has been known for uh, very high quality prints at a low cost. And they released a 
uh, a firmware or their version of Marlin that had some sort of power resume and nobody was really sure how it was working and there was a ton of drama around this. This was just a month or maybe two months back now where there was uh, issues because there was no compliance with Marlin's GPL licensing and the GPL licensing basically they were violating it by taking the firmware modifying it, putting it in their machine that they were then selling without releasing that source code back to the team or to the community so that way it can be implemented and those features can be built off of. And this was a huge, huge issue. A lot of my buddies on YouTube, um, I don't really need to name drop, but nearly all of them were making videos talking about this and how this is not okay and how that we need to stand together and kind of um, didn't necessarily say exactly blockade, but there was a lot of negativity around Creality. Then, Naomi Wu, or Sexy Cyborg, who lives in, I believe, in Shenzhen, was able to actually get a hold of the Creality team and explain to them what open source is and explain to them what GPL licensing is. And ultimately, a combination of the community and her efforts were able to get Creality on board with this open sourceness. And thanks to that, and thanks to everyone's efforts, we now have this really cool feature implemented into Marlin, which is, which is huge. So not only do I think we need to give Marlin a pat on the back, but seriously, everybody in the community deserves a pat on the back for this because this is just a really awesome awesome thing and it just shows that as a community we truly can make a difference in the way things are and Creality not only has now released their their you know that uh, firmware but they've also made it where the Ender 3 which is behind me you can't really see it because it's blurred out is the first fully open source Chinese printer as far as I know where you can find a pinout of the board uh, I mean all of the extrusions, the electronics, the firmware, everything is available on a GitHub, which is freaking awesome. That is super cool. And it's just crazy how far things have come along. And it's because of this sharing of information, because of this open sourceness that we are able to um, expand and literally, I, I wrote an article on this, but basically like torpedo this industry forward at such a rapid rate and it is it has been awesome. I've been a part of quite a few other communities online and I gotta say that there has really been none quite like this 3D printing community. So hats, literally hats off to you guys. I hope everyone is doing fantastic and this is really exciting. And if we've come this, this far in such a short time, I can only imagine that looking back in four years from now, just how much better and uh, you know just crazier this technology is going to become so on that note I will end the video I hope you guys are all doing great I'll place the latest Marlin version in the description down below don't forget to like the video as well as subscribe guys for more 3d printing videos and as always thank you a ton for watching I will see you guys in my next video this has been Daniel from Modbot and I am out peace guys